welcome to a new video. I hope you're doing well. Sending you lots and lots of love. For today's video, I have my 10 favorite vegan meals. So we're coming to the end of Veganuary. If any of you are doing it, I thought you might be running dry on inspiration. Hopefully this video can help you out. 100% recognize that not everybody can be vegan for so many different reasons. I actually did an episode on my podcast all about veganism and just an open chat about the lifestyle and it's very like two-sided so if you're interested in more about the lifestyle and diet um, I would recommend listening to that. Today's video my sole aim is just to give you some meal inspirations whether you're vegan or not hopefully these look like yummy meals that you might like to try. I've been vegan for over five years and vegetarian my whole life so I feel like I have a good grasp on what vegan foods and meat alternatives there are. I like good food. I think I've got like a reasonably good gauge at what tastes good and I've made a couple videos of like what I eat in a week before and they always seem to perform really well so hopefully you like this. If you want any more ideas you can check out those videos. Yeah I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. I love you very much and I'll see you next Sunday. So the first meal that we have is a falafel hummus pitta. This is great if you're in a rush, it really doesn't take very long and you can kind of put in whatever ingredients you happen to have or just whatever you're in the mood for. tonight is a noodle stir fry. I eat this all the time. Also gonna have some goza with it. Fun fact, my mum actually lived in China for at least a few years. I'm not sure. She lived in Wuhan actually. And we always ate Chinese food a lot growing up. It's one of my favourites. It feels very like homely and whenever I'm like a little bit homesick, really hits the spot. I really recommend buying your tofu at a Chinese supermarket or an Asian supermarket. I just think the quality is better and it also tends to be a little bit cheaper. So I would just chop up everything that I'm putting in and I make a little marinade for the tofu so that it is flavorful and just gives it a really nice taste. And this kind of seeps into the vegetables as well and makes the meal taste a lot better. You can also buy miso paste. I use that sometimes, which does a very similar thing. Gyoza are one of my favorite snacks or just as a side to any meal. I have this steamer, which is how I cook them. It's really, really easy. I think this is the best way to cook them. And if you just put a little bit of oil on the bottom, they never stick. This is my go-to breakfast or brunch. It's so filling, so if you have a big day ahead, um, definitely recommend this one. And it's also pretty quick considering you make a proper cooked meal. some of my favorite favorite burgers you get eight for under two pounds and each one also has a decent amount of protein 
obviously just add whatever vegetables you want potato wedges are great with this they do take a while to cook so maybe start them a little bit earlier on and i'll normally just have a burger and a bagel so they don't have to deal with buying bagels and bread and buns just really easy and i love bagels because you can just put them in the freezer and toast them whenever you need them Dokla are one of my favourite Indian foods, we always have this when I go to my bar's house and they taste amazing. I think they are a breakfast thing but I mean we're out here breaking all the norms this year so just have them whenever you want. They taste amazing, this chana masala is a lovely warming meal, great for the winter. It does take a little while, you have to persevere, don't give up with it, always make sure that you cook the tomatoes so they like fully absorb into the chickpeas because that will just taste so much better. I love these tacos because they feel like such a treat and such a restaurant meal when they're actually really easy, really quick and there's not too many ingredients. from this video i'm obsessed with sun-dried tomatoes i add them to literally everything and this pesto is literally my absolute dream obviously you can switch out things add whatever you like i would definitely add less garlic than i'm doing here i had the worst garlic breath after this but tasted amazing and a very fresh meal i really recommend getting the basil fresh if you can just it smells amazing and the whole meal is elevated i actually love that <laughs> are the perfect treat yourself sunday brunch and i love adding berries to them i buy frozen berries they're a lot cheaper and just taste just as good especially when microwaved um you can't even tell the difference and it's so much cheaper
little variation on the jackfruit tacos from earlier i made this taco bowl so essentially the same recipe but i baked one wrap in the oven in these triangle pieces for about 10 minutes added some rice and had a lovely little bowl <laughs> This pizza is probably my most made meal at university, it just always hits the spot. This is my favourite cheese for it, I think it tastes the most like normal cheese. And I do pre-buy the dough, obviously make your own if you can be bothered, but I guess I'm just lazy like that. And add whatever toppings you want, that's the best thing about pizza, just do whatever you want, whatever you have in the cupboard at the time. And it's a good way to use up any vegetables that you have that you can't really think of a meal for.